Guys, Ed Walters here. Welcome to my studio at TrueFit Golf Centre Academy here in Warrington. Uh, today's topic is going to be about gaining some effortless power. Um, let's have a look. Right guys, so effortless power. Um, there's a couple of key things. Number one is speed. We've got to create speed if we want to hit the ball far. We need to be able to swing the club with speed. Swinging the club with speed isn't feeling fast from the top, thinking like you're very powerful. It's about how quickly the head moves through impact down here. So little drill for what we want to try and get the feeling from. I've just got an alignment stick here and I am just going to make some swings with it and I want to see how loud I can make the swoosh. So nice back swing and it's about how loud down this end we can make that swoosh. So you can hear the sound. If I go with the wrong order, if I try and get the sort of upper body in there quickly, it doesn't really sound as fast as if I sequence the movement nicely and stay nice and relaxed. So a little drill so you can hear that is then transferring that into your golf club. So what do we want? We want nice relaxed shoulders, we want nice relaxed arms, we want relaxed hands, but we want a firm grip. We need to control the club face so we can't be sort of soft and let the club wiggle around. We want to keep a nice firm squeeze, but keeping a firm squeeze doesn't mean that you've got to have tense arms, tense shoulders. They've got to be relaxed. So from there we can make a really nice Big rotation, turn your back to your target. If I go this way, I'm gonna turn my back on the camera. Big rotation. The bigger the rotation, the more speed, potentially, you're gonna be able to create. So, we want firm, but relaxed in our grip. We want to feel the speed at the bottom. So the, the important way of creating that effortless power is making sure that we move the body first and we let the club head follow right at the end. So we need a nice smooth change of direction. So turning the back to the target and then a smooth change of direction here and then the speed can be moved down and through. So I can make a little swing over the top of this golf ball here with a big turn change of direction and then hear the swoosh of the head as it gets to the bottom. Okay, let's hit a couple of shots. So taking the setup, firm squeeze, but I'm staying nice and relaxed and it's going to be nice and smooth, turn my back to the target, smooth change of direction and get the speed right at impact. There we go. So there, nice solid strike, really nice flight, and we're gonna get that distance from there. The biggest thing that I see and one of the most common issues is that we want speed from here, we wanna hit it at this point. That's the biggest no-no. So, firm grip, relaxed shoulders, relaxed hands, big turn, little rotated change of direction, feeling the, the hips bumping a little bit toward the target. You can imagine if you had a bag there or a box, you'd want to knock it over, a little change of direction there, nice and smooth, and then speed it impact with the head. And again, really nice, nice and solid, speed's coming down there at the bottom. Guys, thanks for watching. Post comments in the box there down below. Really want to hear what you guys have to say on how you want to create more effortless power, hitting the golf ball further. Ultimately, that's what we all want to get. Um, as always, click the little thumb, give it a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you don't already do so. You can catch me on social media. The links are in the description below this video here. I look forward to seeing you again next time. Thanks for watching.